coffee break with me. Woo! Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you today? Happy Thursday. Today is Thursday, so that means today is a top five favorite video with my best friend, Samantha. I will leave her channel and her video listed in the description box below. You guys, that is so repetitive every time we do a top five video. So Sam and I decided to get together and do this top five series to share with you guys some of our top five or holy grail products, products that work for us. And the reason we decided to do it together was to give you guys a different perspective as to what our beauty needs are. And this series or episode or installment, we're going to talk about hair products. And I've talked about my hair over and over and over before on this channel. In fact, the type of hair that I have is probably the reason why I don't do hair tutorials or hair videos as much on this channel because I have really difficult hair. My hair is very thin, um, it's very sparse, it's kind of wavy, sort of curly, and a little bit frizzy and it's just hard to manage. So it's thin, it's oily at the crown, it's prone to breakage. Basically, my hair wants to ruin my life in a nutshell. So my hair is very, I mean, it's, I don't have very much of it. It's thin and it's, it's just, it's sissy hair. I don't know, for some reason it just, it hates me. So it's very difficult to find products that really work and make my hair look alive and shiny and vibrant. And so many of you ask me, what hair dye do you use? What hair products do you use? Your hair is so shiny. It's so healthy looking. Like, what do you use on your hair? And you make me feel like Beyonce on New Year's Eve. I mean, you guys make me feel like a million bucks because I feel very um, frustrated with my hair. And when you guys leave me comments asking me about, you know, why my hair is so awesome or it looks so shiny or it looks so healthy, I'm like, it does? Thank you. So whatever I'm doing is actually working. So I'm going to share with you guys some of my favorite hair products or the products that I use that help me with my small, tiny, baby fine, oily, prone to breakage, super thin type hair. So the first products or the first ones that I want to share with you guys aren't going to come as a surprise. These are the Macadamia Professional Weightless Moisture Shampoo and Conditioner. I did an entire video about them. I basically was losing my panties over these because uh, Macadamia redid their line and now you kind of buy it based on the type of hair that you have. So because I have really baby fine um, frizzy hair, this is the line that I would get. And so the texture of the line is the baby fine one and it's called weightless moisture. There's another one where for coarse or thicker hair, I think it's, it's a, a more moisturizing line. Anyway, the way that this shampoo and conditioner is designed is to enhance what your hair already is. So if your hair is like mine and it's baby fine and kind of flat, it's going to provide nutritious oils that won't weigh your hair down. But if your hair is coarse and sort of frizzy and thick, it's going to give you guys, or uh, give you oils that will make your hair um, not as voluminous and you know infuse the shine so <clears throat> this line has never let me down i wish it was a little bit more affordable because it is more of a pricier line so i tend to ration it out but i'm really really happy with it when i'm trying to when i don't have a chance to wash my hair every day which is quite often because i have a six month old and a toddler um i do reach for a dry shampoo and i've tried so many and i do have several that i kind of like but the one that i really really love and has made a difference and actually makes my hair feel fresh is the one that i'm wearing today my hair is actually i haven't washed my hair it's dirty as hell right now is the uh chlorine um dry shampoo with oat milk so this one i think is a dry shampoo that has um i think it has oat starch and corn starch it's like a combination and it actually soaks up the oil for my scalp because you guys my scalp is so greasy it's disgusting this is the only one that works and even though it is it is i i buy the normal one i don't buy the one for brunettes because i don't like the brown ones i don't feel like they work enough or work as well as like the classic dry shampoos so the chlorine one is amazing it works but it is so expensive. And recently Sephora started carrying it because before I could only find it on Amazon. So recently Sephora started carrying it and I was like, 
well, it's expensive, but at least it's easy to find now. So that's how I justify it. But it's definitely, I think it's worth the money. Everyone tells me, no, try Batiste, try Batiste. I've tried Batiste. Batiste does nothing for this movie theater popcorn scalp of mine, you guys. Trust me, it does nothing. Um, the other product that I wanted to show you guys, I can't find it. For some reason, my toddler is in that there goes my shampoo. My toddler's in that phase where he hides things. Like he has a little hoarder drawer. And so I, some of my stuff just vanishes and goes missing and I can't find it. And I think that product might be in his little hoarder stash. So I'm talking about the Briogeo Curl Charisma. My hair is wavy slash curly. Depending on the weather, it'll curl or it'll be wavy. And I can't use products that will weigh it down. And I don't like it to look like crunchy chola hair. You know what I'm talking about? Um, so the Briochio Curl Charisma product is really cool because you take it and you take the smallest bit on the palm of your hand when your hair is wet and you kind of, kind of run it through and then scrunch it just a little bit you can let it air dry or you can clip it into like a bun or a braid or you can dry it with a diffuser on your hair dryer and it gives your hair a really beautiful natural curl without weighing it down. And the other reason why I like Briogeo products is because they're actually good for your hair so you don't feel as bad, you know, applying uh, products that will further dry out your hair and make them even more greasy or more crunchy or more frizzy. So when I use that product, I feel like, oh yeah, I'm doing something for my hair. Like I'm spoiling it. One of the most commonly asked questions on my channel is what I use to dye my hair. And you can tell right now the dye is pretty much gone or faded out. And that's one of the reasons why I like this hair dye. The hair dye that I use is the Garnier Olea, um, oil permanent color in 4.0 or dark brown. And the reason I like this color is because it gives you a really natural looking brown. Have you guys ever tried a dark brown from a line that looks black or it looks dull or it looks uh, cool, like too cool? This product or this line from Olea, because I've tried two or three other colors, it's very rich and natural looking. So even if you're not the best at applying hair dyes, the color that it gives you is very natural, shiny, and graceful looking. So I buy the dark brown, I apply it to my hair, and once it washes out, it washes out very nicely. It gives you a really nice, almost, um, Almost like if it was your natural hair color that gets exposed to the elements and slowly fades, that's exactly how it looks. So I like this more the older it gets on my hair. So the more it washes out, the better it looks. And to lock in the color and to make it last longer because I don't like to be dyeing my hair every two months if I, if I can avoid it. So to keep my color vibrant, I use the John Frieda uh, Intense After Color Conditioner. This is a conditioner that you use after you dye your hair, but it's also recommended that you use it about once a week to keep sealing in the shaft of your hair and keeping that color in there. So I use this once a week and I use it especially after I recently dyed my my hair so this is a really good conditioner and it smells really good the last product that I want to share with you guys is my hairspray I don't know about you guys but I hate crunchy hairspray but I also hate frizzy hair when you have four baby hairs like me it's really important to use a hairspray that's not going to weigh down your hair but it's going to hold your style I don't want my hair to look crispy and shiny I want it to look styled but pretty and natural, you know, like almost like my hair is cooperating even though I have loads of hairspray on it. And that is a perk from the Tresemme Firm Control Hairspray. This is the brown one or the one that has the number three down here. It's a hairspray that smells really good. It has a really beautiful lightweight, weight, lightweight, lightweight mist um, that just applies evenly to the hair. It holds your style, but it's soft. It's weird, it's like magic hairspray because it doesn't feel hard or crunchy. You could still run your fingers through your hair, but it holds your style and it's it doesn't, 
You know what I'm saying? Like this is an aquanet. It's going to hold your style, but it's not going to look like you're wearing hairspray. It's still going to be touchable and you could still brush it through at the end of the day and you won't feel like you're wearing hairspray. So that is it for this top five favorites. I really hope you guys enjoyed it or learned something valuable. I know it's hard with hair. You know, that's why I don't do hair tutorials on here because I half of the time don't know if my hair is actually going to turn out the way I want it to. This hairstyle that I have right now is because my hair wasn't cooperating. It was falling flat. So I was like, oh, let me just do like a little boho clip back, like hippie style. Um, I just need like a flower crown now. Uh, so it's hard. It's hard when you have very unique hair like mine. It's very thin. It's very sparse. It's oily. We've talked about this before. I sound like a broken record, but I feel blessed that so many of you have said, girl, I understand you because I have the same type of hair. So if you're on the same boat as me, you might find some of these products useful. Like all of my videos, I will list link and price all of these products in the description box below to make it easy for you to find out more about these products or purchase them if you'd like to. Um, but please don't forget to head on over to Sam's channel and check her out. She does have very, 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 very straight, very blonde hair. So you might be able to find some products useful to you or your type of hair. Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, if you found this video useful, entertaining, or learned something, please give me a thumbs up or subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye!